Hello, everybody. How lovely to see you all again. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. I'm joined by four famous faces. At the end of the week, one of them is going to walk away with a trophy. You know how this works. Shall we meet this week's players? They are Martel Maxwell, <laughs> Matthew Horn, Chloe Petz, and Alex Beresford. Good Monday, everybody. Martel, it'd be lovely for someone on Home Under the Hammer to take home a prize. Dion and Martin, they played 10 shows, 1-0. One 1-0 zero. <laughs> one zero games? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good, because there's not so much pressure, and I'd like to rub it in. Your next link at the start of a Home <laughs> Under the Hammer. Uh, Matt, how are you? Very well, thank You're you. You're a quizzer? Um, I am an avid watcher of House of Games. OK, uh-oh. Well, only because... I'd sometimes get the answers right. So. Exactly. Well, listen, that's all we're going to ask of you all week. Yeah. If you good. do that, then we can't take anything away from that's you. That's the bare minimum, isn't it? Yeah. I know Chloe is a good quizzer. Oh, don't put the pressure on Rich. No, just, on. Listen, pressure is good. Pressure <laughs> is good. Uh, who's your big competitor this week? Do, do you know what? Genuinely, sometimes I watch this show and I think that's a weak person, but there's no one, there's no one weak here. <laughs> I love, you were literally like pointing at Alex and going, say, so, oh, sometimes I watch this show, I think that's a weak <laughs> person. <laughs> that's a weak person. <laughs> uh, Alex, lovely to have you here. Now, someone's winning the prize at the end of the week, the, uh, the trophy there, but at the end of each day, there's also a daily prize. Would you like to take a look at today's prizes? I'd love to take a look at today's prizes. OK, so whoever wins today takes home one of these. The cushion, the refillable water bottle, the coasters, the binoculars or the tool kit. Mm. What do you fancy, Alex? Well, is that you on the pillow? Yeah, very. It's, it's I mean, I'd like to lie on you at night time. Um, Chloe, what would you go for? Well, my parents are big fans of the show and they've basically sort of asked me to bring something home or don't come home. Gotcha. And they're Lovely. big fans of binoculars. OK, If it they? can be such a thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got my eye on those. Yeah, Matt? I mean, I just want something with your face on. Yes, um, sure, I hear that. the coasters, you get four of your face. Oh, so, I never uh, thought of... I'm going coasters. You're going coasters? I'm going coasters, yeah. Uh, Martel? I want something with maximum exposure, so I think the thing that people would see most... I'm not a toolbox person, Pillow doesn't go with my colour scheme. Coasters. Coasters? Yeah. That's the first ever two coaster show we've ever had, I think. <laughs> um, shall we get on and play? We've got a whole week of quizzing ahead of us. Someone's going to win the trophy. We have no idea who. Let's begin to find out, shall we, with round one, which is... Rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please. Pairs of questions. The answers rhyme with each other. Here are your first two. Stanley Kubrick horror film set at the Overlook Hotel. And what every cloud has, according to the proverb. That is Martel. The Shining, every cloud has a silver lining. The Shining, silver lining. Absolutely right, The Shining, silver lining. Um, next question. Del Boy's full name. And author of The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Yes, Martel. Derek Trotter, Beatrix Potter. Derek Trotter, Beatrix Potter. Well played. <laughs> Every time the buzzer goes, I don't look at you because you're from Homes Under the Hammer. I'm not used to having to take an answer from someone from Homes Under the Hammer. It's very weird for me. <laughs> Next two. Abbreviation for Hampshire. And what Superman wears outside his trousers. Yes, Matt. Hans Pants. Hans Pants? That's the right answer. What a lovely way to get your first well, one. Yeah. House of Pants. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hans and Pants. Next two. Who is this? And what the abbreviation ISA stands for in banking? Matt. Mason Mount, instant saver account. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. It's good, though. Very close. Chloe. Mason Mount instant savings account? Is incorrect. I would have given him that, to be fair. Oh, right, okay. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> really If he just lift off an S. Literally just one word missing, really. Yeah, it's the, it's the I, isn't it? Anyone fancy it? No, no, shall we see? Go for a guess. Well done at home if you said Mason Mount individual uh, savings oh, account. Oh, right. gosh darn it. Unlucky Matt, unlucky Chloe. Um, next two. Children's horror series by R. L. Stein. And what is the title of this song? She's got me spending all your money on me. Uh, on me what you gonna do with? Oh, Chloe. Ooh. Goosebumps my humps. Goosebumps my humps? 
It's absolutely right. Um, that's, that's an even better way to get your first point. Like, isn't it? <laughs> With my hugs, my hugs, yes, well absolutely. Done. Next two. Spiritual teachings followed by Madonna and Indian-inspired curry popular in the UK. That is Martel. Kabbalah chicken tikka masala. Kabbalah chicken tikka masala? Great answer. It is chicken tikka masala. I think Kabbalah was the hard bit there. <laughs> so well done. Final question in this round. Fingers on buzzers. What is this? And creator of Hamilton and In the Heights. Yes, Chloe. Red Panda, Lin Manuel Miranda. Yes. Red Panda, Lin Manuel Miranda ah. is the right answer. Yeah. That is very that, good. That was good. Thank nice. you. Uh, that's the end of the round. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard of the week. Um, Alex, yet to get off the mark. Matt has one. Chloe has two. Martel in the lead with three points. Well done, Martel. Uh, let's play our first pairs game of the week, shall we? It is. Distinctly average. Now, in our pairs game, the player in fourth place chooses their partner. Alex, today that is you. Who would you like to play with today? Well, the reason I answered no questions right in that round was because I wanted to play with Martel. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, Alex and Matt, if you will swap places, please. Alex and Martel are a team. And Chloe and Matt are a team. Team comedy up the far end there. Now, in Distinctly Average, if you take your tablets out, please, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They have numbers as answers. So you need to write down an estimate, and then I will take the average of both pairs as your answer. Play along at home. Team up with someone if you wish. You know how this round works. Here's your first question. According to a 2020 study of ordnance survey data, the names of how many roads in Great Britain end in the word road? How many roads in Britain are named something road? Whoa, where do we begin there? I mean, Martel, of anyone here, you've been to more roads than anyone, I suspect. <laughs> I've been to a lot of roads. Yeah. And cul-de-sacs and all sorts. Yeah. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I came up with this number. Me neither. Yeah, I, I love that everyone at home is going through that same dilemma. They're like, but, mm, mm, OK. Well, listen, we're all about to learn something. That's the good news. <laughs> Martel, so you've been to an awful lot of roads. Um, have you been keeping count? Yes. Yeah, so, do you know what I have? Yeah, <laughs> I actually have. And the figure is, so my thinking for this was there must be an awful lot of roads. Yes. An awful lot, but I may have gone too big. 750,000? Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, mm. I, it's, it's hard with the first one to know. Maybe, I mean, maybe, but also you're going to be an average as well. So Alex might have brought you down. Alex, you lower. Well, I've not brought us down that much because I went with 500,000. 500,000. So you're thinking on long, similar. We're on lines. the same lines, yeah. 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 So your average, Martel and Alex, 625,000 is your average. What do you think at home on that one? Does that sound reasonable? Chloe, do you think that sounds reasonable? You look like you haven't written that. No, no. <laughs> so. I, I went, I tried to count them all in my head and... Um, <laughs> you tried to count them all in your head. And I didn't yeah. have much time. Yes. So I think I missed the extra 600,000 right. and went with 15,000, 15, which I think 000. is, like, now I think about it, I think is really stupid. I don't know. I mean, it I, might be. It's, yeah. It's really hard it to It could know. be that or it could be this. I, I think it's very high or very low. Yeah. Matthew Horn, what do we think? Have we gone up from 15,000? Yeah, my thinking behind it was that um, I know the answer, so... <gasps> okay, that's good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 21,482, yeah. says Matt. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's How good. Do you know anything well, listen, if, if, you're, if you're bang on, I'll give you two points, you know, Thank as you. always. I don't think he does know the answer, Chloe. Oh, OK, it was a joke. I think so. <laughs> I've heard of those, yeah, I've heard of I, those. Listen, maybe he has. I mean, I, I sort of hope he hasn't, because <laughs> I, I don't know what it tells us about Matt if he does know the answer. Let's take a look at your average. There is quite some disagreement in the studio. <laughs> uh, we are 625, but I like the fact that both teams are sort of agreeing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. You picked the right partner. Um, 625,000 and 18,000. Uh, let's see how many roads there are and who has scored the point. Oh! Whoa! Wow. 775,000. That's a lot of roads. That's that is. amazing. 2.3 million streets mm. in total in the UK. Wow. Wow. Martel, that's a pretty good guess. Yeah. I don't know how, just... 
very, very impressive. Happy. Well done at home if you were up there as well. But yes, yeah, 775,000. Anyone who lives on something called Something Road now feels a bit less special. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. How many matches did Muhammad Ali win during his professional boxing career? Fights, you could say. How many fights did he win? This is the sort of thing that some people at home will, will know the answer to. Mm. Feels like this will be a smaller number than 775,000. Everyone is in here. What do we think at home here? Chloe. A real stab in the dark. Boxing, it's not even something that I know enough that I could make an educated mm. guess. So this is just a real sort of yeah. shot in the dark. Um, 147? 147. I don't think it's an insane answer. Okay. Matt, what are you saying? Um, I've gone for lower just because I think boxers, they, they, have, they have fewer matches mm. uh, because it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's, yeah, I have heard that from boxers. You know what I mean? It's really, really hard. So I've gone for 28. Oh, no. 28. Uh, so 28 says Matt. So your average is 87 and a half fights for Ali. Martel, where are you on this? Well, my non-educated guess, because I like watching boxing but yeah. don't know great, nothing about it. I was thinking, how long is your career going to span? Say 10 years. Mm -hmm. I suppose it is a lot to do 30 wins in a year. In a year, yeah. Yeah, so 300 is probably not right. 300, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you? I know, I know. Okay. So. To be fair, it was an unbelievable answer for the last one. So, uh, uh, Alex, I'm assuming you've gone down from that. OK, so uh, I think me and Matt are kind of on the, the same lines here. I went with 29. 29, very much on the same lines. Uh, so your average? It was 164 and a half, so uh, double-ish the previous one. So we got 87, we got 164. What do you think at home? Shall we find out how many fights did Ali win and who scored the point? Matthew and Chloe scored the oh, point. Well done. Six was the wow. answer. Very well played. 61 fights in all. Ali lost, lost five times. Should be a final question in this round. Here we go. How many civil servants are there in the <laughs> UK, please? <laughs> According oh. to the most recent figures, how many civil servants are there in the UK? Hmm. And how many of them live somewhere called Road and have been beaten <laughs> by Muhammad Ali? <laughs> a civil servant, of course, there's some civil servants out there watching. Our viewing figures would be in real trouble if there were literally no civil servants watching. <laughs> Let me know when you're happy. Everybody in? Uh, OK, what do we think at home on this one? Alex, we will start with you. What's your thinking? OK, so I was trying to do the geography and think about where different places of work are up and down the British Isles, and I came up with the number of 50,000. 50,000, says Alex Motel, up or down for 50,000? Down, Ooh. but pretty punchy too. I've gone for this because there are thousands and... Yeah. <laughs> 30,000. 30, Even I can work out that average. Your average is 40,000. Uh, Matt, have you gone up from that? Yeah, I have gone up from that. Um, and my thinking behind it was um, I have no idea. I've got even less idea than the Rhodes question. Thank um, you for taking us through your thinking. Thank you. <laughs> so you've gone for 102,500. 102,500. <laughs> Chloe. Oh. <laughs> Are you, do, do, can, can we get you anything? I've haggled myself down from like a million. So I think I've done quite a good job here. Yeah. But my, my mum's a civil servant. Um, so I feel like I just have more like a bias towards like, oh, I, everyone's in the civil service. Yeah, if service. I think about my house, 50% yeah, yeah. of people are civil servants. <laughs> exactly. So I've gone 300,000. 300,000 you've gone for. So your average is... 201,250, so 40,200,000. let Let's find out how many civil servants are there and which team has won the final point of the round. 484,000. Well played, oh, Chloe and way Matt. Off. Very way nicely off. done indeed. Tablets away, please, everybody. It's the end of that round. Matt and Alex, if you can swap back, please. <sighs> Welcome back, Matt. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we, after the pairs game. <sighs> Alex getting off the mark there. He has one. Matthew has three. Chloe and Martel, joint leaders with four points each. Well played. Very nicely done. Let's play round three, shall we? Today it's going to be... <laughs> this round is in code. Uh, I'm going to show you a category. Your first category is... Breads. 
I'm now going to show you some breads, but they are written in code. The code is very, very simple. One will equal A, two will equal B, three will equal C, all the way down to 26, which will equal Z. So you just have to crack the code and tell me what this bread is, please. Yes, Martel. No, pan? No. It is not bread. <laughs> Anyone buzz in? Matt. Naan. Naan. Yes, not great answer. Not pan. Great answer. N A A N. Naan. Well played, Matt. Making the point. Next bread. Yes, Matt. Baguette. Baguette. Yeah, starting B A there. Baguette. Well played. Next bread. Matt. Focaccia. Focaccia. He loves his bread and code, does Matt Horn? I don't know what's happened. Well played. <laughs> Next category, English counties. Here's your first one. Yes, Martel. No, Derby. It is not Derby, I'm afraid. Yes, Chloe. Devon. Devon. It is Devon, got the first two letters and then <laughs> just went for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Devon is the answer. We'll play Chloe, next English county. Yes, Chloe. Lancashire. Lancashire. Ah, Very good. The right answer. Well done, Lancashire. <clears throat> uh, your next category, 19th century novels. Which 19th century novels are these in code? Martel. Black Beauty. Black Beauty. That is the right answer. Well mm. done. Black Beauty. And next one. Yes, Matt. War and Peace. Oh, well played. War and Peace. Absolutely right. Final question in the round. Yes, Chloe. Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> oh, I'm, I just saw yeah, it you're, long you're and I went for it. how many letters it. there are. Yeah. Yeah. Something and something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, Teddy, well done at home. If you said crime and uh, punishment. Uh, crime and punishment was the answer. That's the end of that round. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you. The good news is you never have to play that again. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to see it for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at what it has done to our scoreboard. Alex still on one there. It's an interesting leaderboard now. Martel, you got five. Chloe, you got six. Matthew Horn, our leader, was seven. <laughs> this is going to be a close one, isn't it? It's going to be a competitive one as well. Two rounds to go. It's so it funny was the that bread, yeah. you were good it was the bread. Just the bread round. Just the bread <laughs> round. <laughs> that's it. No, I only, I only yeah. do with bread in code and that's it. Yeah, that is that's all I do. And, you know, honestly, it's never helped before. <laughs> Suddenly, there it was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, two rounds to go on Monday's House of Games. Who's going to win the first prize of the week? Could be coasters. You never know. Something to look forward to. Let's take a look at our next round. It is... Richard Junk. I'm going to show you a picture of my junk now. I want you to look <laughs> very closely, please, and remember everything you see. All of these items are going to be answers to questions I'm about to ask you. You've got 15 seconds to memorise them, so take a look at these, please. Today we have... a fleece some butter, a trilby hat, a camera, some salt, some honey, a globe, a compass, an apple, and some amethyst. So try and remember as many of those as you can. OK, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Here's your first question. What is the real first name of the rapper known as Iggy Azalea? Yes, Matt. Amethyst. Amethyst? To shout. It's the right answer. That's well really done. Good. Tell you what, that gets the amethyst out of the way, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Certainly does, yeah. Um, next question. Which song gave the K-pop group BTS their first UK top ten hit single of 2021? Yes, Chloe. Honey? Honey? It's incorrect. The answer will be something you just saw, so it's worth buzzing in and having a crack. Yes, Martel. Butter. Butter? The right answer. Oh, Butter. wow. Butter. Butter. Next question. 
The circular domed building that forms part of the central Bodleian Library complex in Oxford is known as the Ratcliffe Watt. Yes, Alex. The Globe. Globe. It's up by the question right is there, Matt. Compass. Compass. It's incorrect as well. That sounded so, especially the way you said it. <laughs> Anyone for Martel? Just in case it was Atlas. Atlas? That's incorrect. It was a globe. Chloe. Fleece. <laughs> the Radcliffe Fleece. Is it fleece. the Radcliffe Fleece? <laughs> it is not. Let's see what it is. Oh, the Radcliffe camera. There you go. Well done if you got that at home. Next question. Manzana is the Spanish word for which foodstuff? Yes, Martel. Butter. butter? Oh, no, we've got butter. You've got butter, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not Chloe. Honey? Honey? If you keep saying it, it'll be right eventually. <laughs> One day. Matt. Salt. Salt? It's oh. incorrect. Alex. Apple? Apple? Nicely played, well, Alex. Done. Well done. Thank done. goodness for that. Apple was <laughs> the right answer. <laughs> Next question. The word Svengali is derived from the name of a character in which novel by Georges du Maurier? Yes, Matt. Oh, honey. Honey? <laughs> I, lo I love a round where people give an answer. Oh, the honey. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, Chloe. Compass? Compass? It is not, I'm afraid. Yes, Martel. Globe. Globe? Oh, <laughs> What else was that? Alex? Jumper. Or fleece? Fleece, sorry, fleece. Is it fleece? It was a fleece. It is not, I'm afraid. What was it then? Trilby, trilby. was the answer. Oh, I forgot about I've it. forgotten about the trilby. Yeah. Uh, next question. In Matilda by Roald Dahl, what is the surname of the kind class teacher who takes the title character under her wing? Yes, Chloe. No way. Honey! Finally, <laughs> there we go, well done. Honey <laughs> is the right answer. Final question in this round. In Greek mythology, Jason and the Argonauts went on a quest to acquire the golden what? Yes, Matt. Compass. <gasps> Compass? Is it correct? Ah! <laughs> yes, Chloe. Fleece. Fleece <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> golden compass is the, uh, the flip form of it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, fleece. That's the last question. However, there is a bonus point for anyone who can buzz in and tell me <laughs> other three items. Oh. Martel. Globe, salt, compass? Globe, salt, compass. Well played, Martel. <laughs> Lovely end of the round. Nicely done. Uh, well done if you got those at home as well. Well done if you filled in that board. We only have one round to go. Oh, oh. On this house of games. Well, I'm one definitely not going to win. <laughs> Listen, who, who knows, Alex? Don't forget, what's every cloud got? A silver lining. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> um, but let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? Very, very close. Look at that. <laughs> One point between the top three. <laughs> Chloe and Matt have eight each. Martel has seven. Alex, tomorrow might be more your uh, thing. Good night's sleep. I think, I think we might be sitting back and watching these three, but what a competition this is going to be. One point between all three of you. OK, we're going to decide Monday's champion with a little round of... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. A point for a correct answer. Don't forget, a point off for an incorrect answer in this <laughs> oh, round. So I just didn't oh. answer because I'll end up on zero. And possibly, oh, uh, listen, you, you'd even get minus one if you really went for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go then. Your first category is TV presenters. Those will be the pictures, there'll be clues above. Good luck, everyone. Who is our first champion of the week going to be? According to a classic Christmas carol, what are the halls to be decked with? Yes, Matt. Holly Willoughby. Holly Willoughby. I need a tiny bit more on the top, the top answer. Uh, oh. Matt, I won't take a point off you, but we'll time you out. OK. Bells. Yes, Chloe. Bells of Holly Willoughby? Did you say bells? Yeah, you did. OK, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> mister. I did say bells, yeah. It is not bells of holly, I'm afraid, <laughs> Chloe. Uh, Martel. Bows of Holly Willoughby. Bows of Holly Willoughby yeah. was what I was looking for. Wow, that changed things, didn't we're it? Back, so you lose a point, hanging. Chloe. Uh, Martel, you gain a point. Well done. Bows of Holly, Holly Willoughby. Bows of Holly Willoughby. Next question, next picture. 
First performed in the 17th century, which traditional British puppet theatre show features a dog named Toby? Yes, Alex. Punch and Judy Finnegan? Punch and Judy Finnegan? Yeah. Is the right answer. Well played, Alex. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, next clue, next picture. What term denotes a small panel on a laptop keyboard which can be used to control the movements of the cursor? Yes, Chloe. Touch Paddy McGuinness? Um, touch Paddy McGuinness <laughs> is the answer. I mean, listen, you've got to have a hobby. Um, <laughs> next category. Sports. So we're looking for the name of a sport you're going to see. There'll be a clue above. It's very close on this leaderboard. According to the proverb, what should you never look in the mouth? Yes, Matt. A gift horse racing. Gift horse racing? That's absolutely right. A gift horse racing. Well played, Matt. The gift horse and horse racing. Next sport, next clue. What word did Archimedes reputedly utter when he jumped out of his bath, having discovered the law of hydrostatics? Yes, Chloe. Eurekarate. Eurekarate. Very good. Mm. Eurekarate is right, yes. Chloe. Well played. <laughs> next clue, next picture. What type of lake forms when the horseshoe bend of a river separates from the main flow? Yes, Chloe. Ox bowls. Ox bowls. Absolutely right. Ox bow and bowls. Ox bowls. <laughs> Um, are we to have another category? We are not to have another category. Wow. Good for me. I mean, that was chaos. Um, <laughs> yeah. My heart is racing. My, <laughs> was... my Fitbit buzzed during that to tell me that <laughs> you need to calm down. That is a first for House of Games. <laughs> Who do you think's won this one? What a competition. It's going to be a great week, isn't it? It's going to be very, very close. Who's our champion, though, on the first House of Games? Who's our Monday champion? It is... The stand-ups do it again. Chloe Petz, very well done. A one-point win from Matt Horn and Martel. There. Chloe, you've won a prize. What would you like to take home with you from this uh, array? Oh, I did say binoculars, but mm. toolbox feels tempting. But yeah. I think my, my dad would get the joy from the toolbox, whereas my mum and dad will get the joy from the binoculars. Oh, that's um, right. So one, one for mum, really, yeah. as well. Lovely. So Chloe binoculars. takes home House of Games binoculars for her mum. Well played, Chloe. Let's take a look at our first weekly leaderboard. Chloe at the top there. Martel feels harsh. You only got two points there. Ooh. You were very, very close to the uh, to the lead. Um, it's going to be a really close week. I think we can uh, all be sure of that. Thank you so much. What a day. Um, shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. Excellent. I'll see you all here same time, same place. We'll see you as well. Same time, same place on the House of Games. Jill. Jill's gonna love him. Jill's gonna love him, yeah.